Hey, hey everyone, happy Christmas Eve. I wanted to hop on really quick today and give you a behind the scenes tour of my office in the making. I like to rearrange things quite often and it drives my kids bonkers. By the way, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Yam Pratt, and I'm the chief dreamer and podcaster right here at Our Young Creators. And this is officially day number 14 of our 100 Days of Facebook Live Challenge. If you want to join me in this challenge, it is absolutely free. Head over to bit.ly slash 100 days of FB Live. If you're joining live or watching the replay, say hi and let me know you are here. Yesterday, I hopped on to tell you that I was doing a little makeover of my office and I promised I'd take you on a little behind the scenes tour. And so right behind me is one of the new areas I created. <clears throat> So just so you know, on the windows, I'm still figuring out the best kinds of curtains. So I just have a big piece of fabric hanging over my window, which is a little crazy. Drives me a little bit nuts, but you know, like anything else, it is a work in progress. So behind me is a bookshelf that I wasn't sure that I wanted to keep in here. However, it's serving its purpose. I'm sitting on this couch that I got from my Uncle, hello, Tasha, so good to see you here. And in case someone ever wants to come visit, uh, hint, hint, this couch makes out into a bed. So you can sleep in the office if you ever wanna come and visit the beautiful high desert of Northeastern Nevada. So this couch used to be actually on the other side of my space where my normal recording video section is. So let me stand up and show you. So behind me, I have this amazing octagon window. I would actually love to film this way all the time. The lighting gets a little bit tricky though for me when I have external lighting, the reflection shows up in the windows. Um, so someday I'll figure out how to have this as my backdrop because it's sort of gorgeous and I don't know if you can see the snow so much. My husband went out and shoveled the driveway earlier. The snow is melting really, really quickly, but this is the view outside just coming up our driveway. So I have lots of amazing trees to look out on and we have the most incredible sunsets here in Northeastern Nevada. So definitely when you come, the sunsets, the sunrises are truly spectacular. So let me show you quickly over here. So you may notice this little section. This is the wall that I created that is the backdrop for the normal set that I use. And my girls absolutely love to decorate this shelf. And right now, because it is Christmas, they made it all Christmassy. And Daphne even went so far as to create this Merry Christmas banner along with handmade snowflakes. So that is the normal section. I have over here in the corner now all of my file cabinets, everything that we need to store for taxes and otherwise kind of go in here. And then we just have this shelf back here. And again, um, it's multifunctional. We have the printer on the bottom there. And I'm gonna turn myself, let's see if I can do this here. I'll walk around this direction and I have two light boxes set up for some external lighting. And then behind me, I have my standing desk. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it actually is an adjustable height desk, which I absolutely adore, that I can go from sitting to standing literally at the push of a button, and I absolutely love it. So my couch actually used to be over on this side against this wall, but I was feeling a little bit claustrophobic. So I had to make some changes and my kids think this setup is really weird. However, I am loving it because I have two separate sections. If I need to, I can literally slide my desk over in front of the couch. So now I have a couple of different options because I don't know about you, but for me, changing things every so often is really great for me creatively. When things stay the same for too long, I kind of feel like I tend to stagnate. 
And when we ran our brick and mortar studio, I would literally, pretty much every month, I would go in and change the artwork on the walls, which was no small task because we had huge, you know, 16 foot ceilings with beautiful tin roofs. So we had tons of stuff on the walls, but I would move the artwork from classroom to classroom and move the stuff from the lobby into the other lobby or into a classroom because I just found that giving my students and the people who came to visit the studio, whether they were parents or coming in to see if we were a good fit for them, it was just really great to be able to help them deal with change in my own small way because I know change can be really hard for a lot of us. For me, I kind of crave that change. So being able to do things like move around the furniture in my office now and have different areas set up mean that I can move myself throughout the day from section to section or place to place so that I can get the most inspiration because again, staring at the same four walls all day really sort of dampens my creativity and that's the whole reason I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning the other day to get this done. I was having fun doing this. It normally takes me quite a long time to decide where I want stuff and I have to move things a lot to get sort of the final look that I want because I always tell people that, you know, for me to put, to create something on the stage and put bodies into a, a formation and make it look beautiful through choreography, that's something that comes easily to me. When I have inanimate objects like desks and couches and pillows and, and shelves, it becomes a little harder for me because they are just so still. But that's just me, something that I have to deal with. Um, thank you, Tasha. I'm loving this new space. It's really serving me well to have this little sanctuary where I can kind of come and get inspiration. I can look out the window, watch the birds fly, watch all the wildlife, including the deer that often frequent our yards, and just be able to enjoy my environment. Because when I enjoy my environment, it really does something to light a fire within, to get me excited about what's coming next and helps me to push myself a little more than having everything stay the same. So I would love to know, do you like to move things around in your house? Just give me a thumbs up and say yes below or say no, you like things to be always the same because you know, we're all different and we all, thrive under different circumstances, but I would love to know um, if that's something that inspires you. And I told you before that when I move things around, especially in the kitchen, it drives everyone a little bit nuts, but I'm always, I'm always looking for a, a better way to be more productive, to make things more efficient. And so I just have to keep testing and tweaking. And that's, I guess the lesson for today is that sometimes in life you have to just keep plugging away and eventually you'll get to the place where things flow really smoothly in your personal life or in your business. Tasha says, yes, when your husband helps, yes. I don't move the big furniture too often by myself, but in my office, everything is pretty light. Everything's on little sliders, so they slide pretty easily on our wood floor, so that makes it really, really handy. So. There you have it. There's the behind the scenes of my new office and I just love this space. I tend to work in the kitchen a lot in the winter time as well because it's right by the fireplace. And so this room stays a little bit colder. So I am kind of like our cats. I like to go find the sunny spots of the house and enjoy them while I can, rather than just cranking up the heat in every single room. So there you have it. Tasha, thanks so much for joining in. I'm having so much fun on this challenge and I cannot believe it is already day number 14. Okay, my friends, I will be back tomorrow just to check in with you on Christmas Day and share with you what we're up to on that special day. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will see you all tomorrow. Cheers.